Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Learn Daily Physics. So today we are going to discuss a small topic. <coughs> a small topic of polarizability. And we will see what polarizability is. What is it? How physically polarizability means. So it is the ratio of polarization of vector to the electric field. It is the ratio between the polarization vector. We've discussed what polarization vector is. And P was equals to dipole moment per unit volume. Dipole moment divided in D, P, small p divided by V. And when this, this polarization vector is divided by the electric field E, we get alpha polarizability. So the polarizability says that when we have, let's have a look here, that uh, alpha is equals to P over E, okay? This alpha is equals to P over E and for, we say that for constant electric field electric field is constant then alpha will be directly proportioned both are same alpha will be directly proportioned to this is the direct sign of for the directly proportion to p okay this is alpha and this is the alpha is directly proportioned to p what does this mean it means that the polarizability is a measure of polarization. How much the dipole will be formed, how strong will be the dipole with the constant electric field is the measure of polarizability. The polarizability is a guy which tell us that uh, with this electric field how much polarization will occur. Let's have, a, let's have a look on our example that we have a constant electric field E and we've placed a molecule here or an atom or whatever you can say. It, it formed a dipole like this. Okay. So positive here or negative here and the positive one here pos partial positive there will be the partial positive and there will be the partial negative sign here and here so with the same electric field here with the same electric field here you can say that our dipole moment was small of a great and a dipole movement was of a great D dipole was of great dipole movement so uh, was of large dipole movement dipole movement is D so D distance is great it means that dipole is equals to Q is uh, P is equals small P is equals to this is the small P for the dipole movement and the large P or, your, or the capital P for polarization vector. So P is equals to Q into D. So when this D will increase, our ultimate we have a increase in P and the direction of this D is from negative to positive. The direction of a dipole moment is from negative to positive. So with the same electric field, the dipole of this molecule, let's say it's, it, it was a molecule, the dipole of this molecule is greater than the dipole of this molecule. What was the term that the dipole of this molecule is greater than this one? This is the alpha which is describing this quantity. We can say that the polarizability for this term, for this molecule is greater than the polarizability of this molecule. So as this molecule have the high polarizability because of that it forms a high 
polarization vector its polarization vector will be large because of it has high dipole moment per unit volume it has high dipole for, uh, per unit volume it has greater dipole per unit volume from this term so alpha is responsible for knowing that the when constant electric field is applied which dipole will be stronger which dipole will be uh, will have greater values than the other okay you understand what polarizability is i think so let's have a look that p is equals to np for n number of molecules np over v so for a unit volume for one molecule and for a unit volume n will be equal to one and here will be equal to one and v will be equal to one also because we are talking about the unit volume and the unit volume the v equals to one you can see that when no electric field we have a constant atom and when we apply the electric field we have a partial positive and the partial negative and it, it here we have a positive electric field this side and the negative electric field this side the direction of electric field will be from positive to negative and this is the direction of the dipole movement from negative to positive the direction of now this is positive here and this will be yes wait a second positive one here and the negative one here direction will be in this direction and yes yeah they both will have the same direction they will align themselves in the direction that and both will have same direction yes one thing more I will tell you that when these this is placed in let's say this is positive and this one is negative let's have a look on this term also when you place uh, we have a dipole moment the electric field the electric field let's say this is negative and this one positive the induced electric field here will be in this direction the direction of the dipole movement will be in this direction the dipole movement will align itself in the direction of electric field this is the direction of electric field applied electric field and this is the direction of e prime okay the direction of dipole movement will be in the direction of electric field but the direction of an electric field of the dipole movement will always oppose the direction of applied electric field that e will be opposite in direction to the e prime in now the magnitude can be equal can be equal cannot be equal so we are not talking about the magnitude we are talking about their direction and their and their signs so electric field will be in opposite direction but the dipole movement of the applied dipole movement and the applied electric field will have the same direction okay so i think you understand this term also so so in this case p polarization and the dipole p dipole movement p will be equal to each other and this p is equals to p equal to alpha e from this and we can say that when p polarization vector is directly proportion to e we were talking about the magnitude so we can also say that capital p is also directly proportion to e so now you understand and uh, what polarizability is in our next lecture we will discuss about the electric displacement vector d and what is it and how we form an electric displacement vector so till then assalamu alaikum and thank you very much for your time